than anything else. This, is hosting the Olympics really worth hosting? when half of the world is living in poverty, according to globalissues.org, when 383 million people do not have access to clean water, and almost 2.5 billion do not have access to adequate sanitation, according to water.org. And besides that, more than 200 million children worldwide under age five do not have health care. Is it really worth it? When all of these problems are arising in our country, in any other country, in the entire world, and right now we're putting billions and billions of dollars into a stadium that is either used once or maybe twice. Besides that, the construction of the infrastructure and transportation for the Olympics have seen homes and villages with great cultural and historical value demolished and have rendered these innocent people homeless. Sure, they may get some compensation, but is maybe a little bit compensation worth your home? Your home that has been there since your ancestors were here. Is it worth it though? <clears throat> the Olympics is also turning the host country into a public playground, which gives terrorists and criminals an amazing chance to cause mayhem. Uh, for, example, in, for example, in the 1972 Munich Games, uh, 11 athletes were actually killed by Israeli terrorists. Um, in order to prevent the, uh, the possibility of terrorist attacks, the government is trying to do things. They are, they are forced to hire more police forces, but unfortunately lack the funds to actually pay them. So right now, yeah sure, employment may increase, but they are not being paid. Also, em these employment opportunities are only available very short term because most of these jobs have, uh, are linked to the Olympics. So after the Olympics are done, these people are not needed anymore. The employment rate dropped even lower than it used to be. Therefore, uh, we are aware that the main motive of the Olympics in, co in accordance to the founder of the Olympics is to promote peace, teamwork, and to promote culture. However, right now what we're seeing is that Olympics is so commercialized and politicized and it costs so much money. If, 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 if your goal is to promote culture, then why are you putting billions of dollars into a stadium? Is, is that really needed? Is building a stadium this large and causing so much debt really worth this sport event and this promotion of culture? We think not. Thank you. Thank you. You have spoken for 4 minutes and 22 seconds. the government to present his life speech. Time given is four minutes. Thanks, Harrison. A very good morning to the educators and the members of the floor. So the, the opposition side, they said about hosting Olympic is not the only way to make money. Uh, it's not the only way to we are not hosting the Olympic to make money. Yes, of course, we know that hosting Olympic is not, a, it's not the only way to make money. But unfortunately, Today's topic is this house belief that hosting the Olympic is a good investment. So it's a, it has nothing to do with it. And there may be another investment, but on, but Olympic is a whole package. They can unite nations, import, improving the morale of human beings, improving sports science technology, produce world-class partnership. And the opposition side is said about how real cover up their hole. I have a question for them. So, would you cover up your hole? Uh, would you cover up your trousers if there is a hole? And Olympic is the is Olympic is there to fix the hole. Thank you. And they talk about history. Thanks for strengthening our point again. History. Back to the Munich game. You talk about the Munich game, and that is why we are getting better now. We can look at the, the we can look at the success country. So thank you. We are getting better. And you said about. You, we are talking about Rio. Every, everybody knows that Rio has the biggest slum area in the world. Why do you compare with it? 
with a successful country. Okay, so if you want to compare with this, okay, I'll tell you this. Morphine. Morphine is a painkiller and it's essential for surgeon purposes. However, it is also highly used for drug abuse. This is not because of the existence of morphine. This is because of the lack of management. You can't blame Olympic, it's two different things. And they talk about the daily problem. Yes, true. But it's for economical growth, it's part of investment. Look at the big picture, please. It can be solved. This is no big deal. And thanks for strengthening our point again. The opposition, you talk about the GDP goes up, yes, it goes up. And you talk about this and that, which I don't really don't really know. And according to the GDP, it goes up and it actually affects the economy it actually affects the economy of the country. And you talk about large contract station. Thanks, thank you again. And you are strengthening our point. We have to build infrastructure for hosting the Olympic. We need to build the infrastructure with manpower. This is not a one-day team. This, by building the infrastructure, we have to hire men. And this leads to job opportunity, which my second speaker had mentioned just now. Clearly, you are not listening. And by the job opportunities, you guys say that the job opportunity is a short-term job. Yes, it is, but it only it is a platform for them to gain experience. And according to the research, that the higher, the higher, higher employment employment rate goes up, and all, it's better to be it's better for you to get a job during the Olympic rather than being unemployed. A job is still a job. And what I mentioned just now is the, about the economic benefits. Yes, tourism brings in everything, brings in the money. Money is better. Mon bringing in money from the outside is better than for the citizen using the money in their own country. And the opposition side talk about the hotel thing. Yes, hotel. He said that the hotel got... I, I, I don't really know, but what we are saying that is Beijing. I, I talk about the Stars Hotel in Beijing. Clearly, they are not listening. And my second speaker talked about the traditional thing, the traditional and the culture. Then they are not. They didn't go on the YouTube or Google anything to look at the Japanese commercial video of the Olympic. They should go and have a look. And lastly, food, everything that brings in money. And at the end of the day. This helps you believe that hosting the Olympic is indeed a good investment. I rest my case. Thank you. Thank you. Just for four minutes and ten seconds. We have now come to the end of the debate. Please enjoy for our educators to make a decision. Audience and participants, kindly vacate the room to let judges make their decision. Thank you. Oh. Oh.